Hi guys! My name is Sylvia Seglini. I am a rhythm skater, a roller dancer. I love choreography, sequences, learning new steps and doing them with people. I have been doing that for, well I've been skating probably for 20 or 30 years, but dancing for maybe, maybe 10? I don't know, somewhere around there. Anyways. I am here today to talk to you about skates. In particular, the Rydell 336, which is my current setup that I, I have a different skate too, but that's the, the one that I skate on the most, what I would say is the 336. First, I will talk to you about uh, what, I, what I skated on before, because everybody starts somewhere. And my last skate setup was this one. This one is the Rydell 195 Grand Prix. And the skate has been through a lot. I had it for probably 10 years. It has the SureGrip Magnum plate on it. And I believe these are complex dance wheels. The, the Ghibli 93 dance wheels. And so this was my old setup. I skated on that for a very, very long time. Uh, and then at some point decided it was Time for something new. Those skates started to fall apart and um, and so many things that my friends would ask me, when are you going to get a skate with a heel? When are you going to get real skates? Just everybody's got an opinion about what kind of skates you should have for what kind of skating and I always said I can do everything that you can in my skates. But then I really understood once I got new skates. I got it. I understand. I understand. Um, so let's talk about the 336. This one. This is a Rydell 336 boot. And this is a custom color lab color. It's turquoise and yellow that I picked out. And the plate is an Arius platinum plate. It's got these like switchable cushions. So if you like your trucks to be kind of loose, you can use a softer cushion. If you like it tighter, you can use a stiffer cushion and you can use all kinds of combinations of them to get exactly the response that you want from your plate. Um, these skates are, let's see, there's some things about it. Uh, if you look at the heel compared to my old heel, uh, well, I didn't really have a heel before. My old skate was completely flat, and this gives me probably an inch and a half uh, of height off of off of the flat. And that changed actually quite a lot of things that I was doing. Spins got easier. Um, squatting was a really, really big thing. When I squat down in these skates, I don't have to compensate by pitching my body forward because my skate wants me to sit further back, if that makes any sense. Um, but it was that was actually where I knew. I tried on my friend's 336, and as soon as I went into a squat position, I had a huge grin on my face, and that was pretty much it. So, um, so that's the heel thing. The heel thing was really big for me. Also, um, the plate that I got, uh, was this plate is actually two sizes smaller than my boot, which is a great setup for dance, maybe not as ideal for a derby setup. But for what I was doing, this was great. But it took me maybe, uh, it probably took me a month to feel like my balance wasn't, um, like my skates were not trying to tip me over like a teapot. But once I got over that, once I broke my skates in and got used to both the heel and the short plate, uh, a lot of a lot of my skills got very quickly, very quickly improved. And some of those moves just look really pretty when you can go really deep on the toe versus a, a more shallow, a more shallow pitch. Uh, let's see, what else can I say about this boot? This boot, uh, the the padding, there's a huge amount of padding on the inside. So much so that when you first get them, it's really hard to fit your foot into it. However, 
after that like first few weeks of trying to cram your foot in and stretching the boot out where it's tight and all of those things, it really feels like it hugs your foot in a way that my other skate and any other skates have not done. Uh, let's see, do I have anything else to say about this? Let's see, it's got a cork heel, which is actually, for for as full of a skate as this is, is, is actually quite a light setup because the plate's light, the boot's relatively light and um, and having a light setup is actually really great when you're throwing your feet around trying to do things. Uh, let's see, what, what else can I say about this boot? Um, I think that's it for now. Okay, and now very briefly, I'm going to show off, I have a couple of other skates to show off just because I painted them. This one, this is my other setup and this boot is actually um, a Klingbell boot, and Klingbell is a company that used to make um, custom artistic boots. This boot is incredibly stiff, does not give at all like the other boot does, um, which is something I probably should talk about. But this boot is stiff, but it's not as stiff as, say, like the 3200 or say this one, maybe some of the Harlix. Um, and you know, having a stiff boot can be really great, uh, but can, it can also feel kind of confining. And uh, I really love wearing these skates, but I definitely notice that I feel kind of confined because I cannot, even going down into a squat in this boot is trickier because you just can't really bend right here. <laughs> So anyways, but I do want to talk about this skate. So this skate came white. Uh, this was um, the first time I had gotten a, a white skate. I tried to wear it white for a few days and I just couldn't deal. So uh, I thought, well, I've always wanted to skate that was in the colors of a sunset. And I had this in my mind for the longest time that I wanted this. So, so I, I just thought I would get to work. So. I did a little research and figured out that people really like these paints. They are, these guys, they're the uh, Angelus, I guess I should probably get a picture of too closer. The Angelus um, leather acrylic paints. And they do a really great job um, covering shoes and boots and whatnot. So they were really great in helping me make um, these skates kind of look a lot more like me than um, than the white boot that they used to be. Anyways, so those are those. Oh, maybe I guess I should probably talk about what's on these skates. This is, let's see, this would be the Clean Bell boot. And this is, uh, I believe this is a prototype Arius plate. And you'll notice this one has zero toe stop, which is, um, great for certain certain moves like doing the the straight leg like heel toe splits can be really great because there's no plug to get caught and you can just get as deep as you want uh what else do i have to say about these oh and these are the the complex ghibli 93 dance wheels that i have dyed blue because they look better on the skate dyed blue i'm a big diyer uh, and I'm going to briefly show you these. These are my daughter's skates. These are these are the Rydell darts, and she wanted them black. They used to be hot pink and purple, and I convinced her to let me do them as galaxy. So I, I went to work with a lead of paints and some sponges and some just some paint brushes to detail the stars in, and I, I think they came out really great. They're very fun. But anyways, you would never know that this was a hot pink skate. Not anymore. Okay. Let's see. Anything else? Do I have anything else to talk to you about? Um, anything else I can say about these? Because this is really what I'm here to talk to you about are these skates. Um, no, I love them. Um, I did touch them up, by the way. Uh, I knew they were gonna be on camera. And actually, I just don't like the, the look of skates when they've all been scuffed up. So I am a big fan, probably every two weeks, 
I go and I get my turquoise and my yellow paint and I touch them up and um, yeah, maybe I'm vain, but I like my colors to be spot on. Anyways, um, that's all I really got to say about my skates today. If you're out there shopping for skates, uh, have fun with it. It's really, really exciting getting new skates. And even if they beat you up, beat your feet up for a month, it's totally worth it in the end. Uh, I think that's it. Thanks! <laughs>